I'm in my office now and I'm going to show you uh, how to use the uh, the bonus scale system. The, uh, the system I have here isn't quite exact same as what you have. I, I don't have the uh, the scanner attached. I'm going to show you specifically uh, what the scanner looks like. I have it attached somewhere else here in the office and I'll show you what it looks like. So this piece right here will be sitting next to the scale. Uh, it's the scanner. So the employees are going to when they go to take a weight they're going to scan. So uh, they, all they need to do is just present the card close to it. Uh, it's going to turn green. So I'll show you one more time. So it's the same uh, the same scan bot boxes that are at, at the time clocks. Aside from that difference, I'm going to show you now how the uh, the bonus scale works. Uh, this is the scale uh, indicator itself. And if I zoom in nice and tight here, uh, we'll see that uh, when you come up to it, uh, you've got uh, the words login to start and uh, the keys so here say set up and login. So uh, because uh, the information that comes from the scale is used uh, really to, to uh, uh, goes to pay people and, and it impacts their bonus. We have a feature here that the uh, the system can be logged off and then log back in again when you go to use it. So it's a security feature. So what you can do is there's a default login that you can that you can use. And uh, I'll tell you what that is right now. So you'll press the login button and the default login is seven zero nine zero nine you can see so then you press enter and it comes up and it says scan card to take weight and uh, you see that the weight on the scale right now is zero and it tells me what the current product is and that product is will be the same product that it was last used so it'll it retains the, the last used product and keeps using it until you specifically switch to a different product so the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to make sure first thing you want to do is like any scale in the morning, you'll want to make sure it's uh, at zero. So you press the zero button and zero it. And the next thing you might want to do uh, is to tear off the uh, the weight of your pan. The, the actual the tear of the pan weights could be set in the system or it can be done right at the scale itself. So we're just going to show you how to do it at the scale itself. So I'm going to use this here thing here as my, uh, my pan. You see that the weight changes to 1.45, and then I'm going to hit the tear button right there, and I'll re tear it again because I might have been touching it actually. So now the weight has gone to zero. So now uh, we've got a, uh, a tear in there, 1.45 pounds, so we're ready to do some weighing. Now, the next thing I'll show you is selecting your product. And so if this product is not what you're doing right now, what you'll do, want to do is switch the products. So I'm going to press this button down here that says product. I'll zoom in nice and tight so you can see it here. Product. Enter the product number. So you should have a list of what the product numbers are. You basically have uh, 12 of them set up here. But let's say I want to do, uh, I think, tails. So I'll do product 2 is market tails. Enter and it comes up and says lobster market tails. So probably somebody like a supervisor is going to select that at the start of the day and then so now we're ready to do bonus weights on the tails. So all you have to do is uh, take your pan of meat and I'm going to simulate my pan of meat. I'm going to put uh, exactly three pounds of meat in here and I'm going to put it on the scale should go to three pounds, close enough. And now all I have to do is, as the employee, scan my card. So what you won't hear also is the is the beep sound of the scan. You won't hear any of that, but keep an eye on what happens on the screen here. I'm going to simulate a scan here. So employee scans their card, beep. Okay, uh, Ross, oh sorry, Rose, Rose Atkins, uh, and it says successful, data saved. Uh, 3.01 pounds. So she's all set. The, uh, the pan of meat comes off. And then the next pan of meat can come on. Let's make this one 1.5 pounds. 
and obviously it's not 1.5. Oh, that's it's a kg weight. <laughs> These are actually kgs. So let's do the one pound. So one pound, and now we're going to do the next person's weight. So as soon as the pan of meat is on the scale, person scans their card, beep, and you see it says one pound for Diane Babineau. So it's really that simple to uh, take to take each bonus weight. The um, if you need to switch products at any point in time, you're just going to go in and press the product button. Let's say we're going to switch to um, Canner Tails, which I think is product number eight. Again, check your list. Enter Lobster Canner Tails, and everything else is going to stay the same. So now we're going to do one thing different here. So now what if we want to, let's say we want to weigh not in pounds, which is what it's currently set to, but let's say we want to weigh in uh, one of the other weighing units, which let's say we want to weigh in kgs. There's a button here that says units. I'll zoom in on it. I'll press it and you'll see what it says here. It may say that units are locked. Now in this case, uh, I haven't unlocked the units button yet, so the, uh, the uh, employees can't accidentally uh, switch units if that's not what you want to happen. but. In this case, we actually do want to have that option, so we need to log out. Do you, and it asks you, uh, do you want to log out? Yes or no? And we'll say yes. Now there's this button there in the middle that says Setup. I want to select that. And I'm going to enter the password, which is 70909. Enter. And in here, there's a button there that the very first button says Unlock Units. I'm going to unlock the units button. So that's all I need to do. Then I'm going to press the back button. And now I'm going to log back in again. 